Okay, hey everybody, how we doing? We're good? Awesome, we're glad you're here. So if you guys don't know me, my name is Josh. I'm the lead pastor here at Lighthouse. And uh, uh, really the heart behind what we're doing over the summer, so just to let you guys know, this is our first, they're called Wednesday worship nights. But Wednesday worship night, you know, nights of worship on Wednesdays, whatever. Basically uh, what we have been praying through as a staff and as a leadership team is we want Lighthouse to become more of a house of prayer and more of a place where we can encounter the Lord on a regular basis. And so like if you're a part of Lighthouse, we have, you know, we have our we have our big epic worship nights. And they're like three times a year and we record albums and there's haze and there's like, and it's awesome. We love the show. It's great. And then we have like our, you know, our prayer meetings and all kinds of stuff like that happen throughout the week, Sunday mornings. But we thought, man, like we have an incredible team. We have an incredible church. The Lord has blessed us with this building and you guys. And so our heart is for the next mo- uh, uh, three months, we're trying this out on uh, uh, once a month on a Wednesday night, either here at Lake uh, Denver or at our Lakewood campus, we will have a Wednesday night worship. And it'll just be an hour um, of uninterrupted, just beautiful time of prayer and singing and we're not going to introduce like brand new songs during the nights like it's just going to be for you to love on Jesus and for you to encounter the Lord and so uh, tonight our songs will kind of direct you emotionally and spiritually and then Megan will come up and she'll share a little bit from Psalm 23 and Matthew 11 and we'll just kind of we're just going to pray a lot and we're going to worship a lot and it's just going to be just really good and so um, I just want to encourage you um, uh, uh, to use the room Literally, like if you're someone who's like, man, I love just spending an hour like on my face just before Jesus, do like literally come to the front and just just get on your face. If you want to come to the prayer benches, come to the prayer benches. If you want to take communion, we've got re- like we've got bread, real bread. Oh, I just want to break that bread right now. Like it's so good. So you can, you can also you could do the commun- little cuppies with the red sauce and and the styrofoam. But uh, 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 Megan will lead you in, in communion a little bit, so don't don't rush to the cross just yet. You know, calm down. So, um, but anyways, we're just gonna worship. We're gonna have a ton of fun. Uh, our bands. This is our staff band, and except for Jake, let's give it up for Jake. It's birthday. It's his birthday tomorrow. 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 What key are we in? We got it. We got it. That's creepy. No, a Daisy, sing it. There it is. <laughs> His name is Jake. Let's sing, sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jake, 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 Jake. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> also, one more embarrassing thing we need to mention is Stephanie and Trey got married. Marriage. What did you just sing? Happy wedding. Happy wedding. No, anyways. <laughs> we're just gonna have fun. Hey, am I still on, Joe? Am I good? Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, we're just gonna we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna worship. Uh, we'll be done in about 50 minutes. Whatever. Uh, we're just going to go off on songs. So who knows what the, oh, there I am. Thank you, Joe. Um, so we're just going to go off. We're going to sing. So just pray, worship, sing, enjoy the Lord. Uh, you know, as a charismatic church, we believe in all the gifts of the spirit, but we also believe that there are parameters to the gifts. And so if you want to use your gifts, look at First Corinthians, 13, 1 Corinthians 13, check that out a little bit. Um, just don't distract anybody as you're enjoying the Lord. That's just really all that we're shooting for here. So other than that, yeah, I'm just going to pray and we're going to sing some songs. It's going to be good. It is. Yeah. Jamie, are you singing this first song? It's going to be awesome. There we go. Hey, let's stand. If you're not standing, let's stand. Let's raise our hands. as a posture of surrender to the Lord Jesus. If you don't like raising your hand, just raise them anyways. Let's raise our hands. Let me pray. Jesus, we surrender to you today. Holy Spirit, we surrender to your presence. Father, enthroned upon the heavens, we surrender to your will and your glory today. We worship you. We pray that you are pleased with the songs that come from our hearts, the psalms, the hymns, the spiritual songs that emanate from our delight in you. We pray that it would be a fragrant offering to you, the holy triune God, and that we would just have a lot of fun. And and if we're full of sorrow tonight, Jesus, that you would mend our sorrows. If we're full of uh, worry 
that you start taking off the worry, that if we're under attack, that you would use this worship as a weapon, and you'd conquer the power of Satan in this city and in this nation, and there would be freedom because of what happens tonight, Jesus. So we surrender to you. We love you. Just take 20 seconds. Just tell Jesus you love him out loud. Just say, Jesus, I love you. Holy Spirit, I love you. Father, I love you. Yeah. Just let Sam's piano just wash over you for a minute.
just sang about how God is our rock, our shepherd, our fortress, our defender. We just sing those truths. And I don't know if there's some of you here who actually believe that with everything inside of you. If you can sit there and say, yes, Lord, you are my rock, you are my shepherd. Or maybe we don't. Maybe some of you today are struggling to believe that 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 is who he says he is. Good news is that in Matthew, Jesus actually tells us and re, kind of revamps and solidifies what David was praising in that Psalm, Psalm 23. And so in Matthew 11, 28 through 30, Jesus says to the crowd, he says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will, mm, yep, nailed it. Yeah, you'll learn from me. I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Guys, today, the yoke is easy. Jesus wants to come alongside you. He wants to take the burdens that you carry. Whatever it is, family, relationships, finances, job, future, health, whatever it is, whatever is weighing on you today, Jesus wants to take that yoke. He wants to take that burden. He wants to give you rest. He's not going to chastise you. He's not going to say, oh, I'm very upset at you right now because you didn't do this, this, and this. No, he is gentle and humble. His heart is for you. He is for you, not against you. So today, tonight, what we are going to do together as a family, as Lighthouse Church, we are going to pray together. Whatever it is, whatever is weighing on you tonight, we're gonna to pray it out loud. When we speak things into existence, the enemy loses power. And so I believe that tonight we're gonna to pray corporately. We're gonna pray aloud together. I'm also going to pray with you, but what I want you to do is think of those things, think of those burdens, think of those things that you need to give to Jesus, to give back to him. So let's pray together out loud. I wanna hear you pray louder than the person next to you. Let's pray. Yeah. Jesus, I believe that your yoke is light, that your burden is light. Jesus, I trust you with my future. I trust you with all my relationships. God, take the burden off. God, release people from burdens tonight. Release them from feeling the weight, the pressure of life, the anxieties of life. Jesus, we need you. Let your presence come tonight. Jesus, we invite you into this space to continue moving, to continue working. God, we want to walk side by side with you. We want to learn from you, learn your ways, learn who you are, learn more of you. Jesus, we cast it all to the feet. You died for it all. Jesus, you took all of our sins, all our burdens to that cross. You nailed it to the cross when you died for us. Jesus, we thank you and we praise you and give it all back to you. we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we continue worshiping, I would encourage you, we have communion available. On Sundays we have it. On Wednesday worship nights we're going to have it. Take communion because Jesus Christ did die for everything. For the burdens that you carry, he, did, he died for them. If you need to come up, the space is yours. Our prayer benches are open. They're available. If you're a fully vaccinated human being, we have actual bread for you. Just make sure to use hand sanitizer. <laughs> but use these next songs, respond. This time is for you. Cast, continue to cast the burdens. We're gonna sing a song where we make room for Jesus, to make room for him to move. And so make that room, make that space for him to move. Let's continue to worship.
This is my surrender. This is my surrender. Here is where I lay it down. Every lie and every doubt. This is my surrender.
Jesus is worthy of our praise and our shout. Maybe you've never been to Lighthouse Church, but we're a little rowdy, and I want to tell you why. Um, Jesus Christ died on a cross for us. And so, <laughs> so, excuse us, but we have a testimony of the living God. This mediator who, who bridged the gap between God and man. And we praise him for that. Let's just take a moment. We're going to sing one last song. It's one we know here at Lighthouse very well, Living Hope. Let's just take a moment before we get victorious and understand that what we just sang, that he's a rock, that shout unto God with a voice of triumph, that we understand that it took his life for the victory that we now experience. So let's just take one second to just see that Jesus nailed on a cross for us. Yeah, Jesus, we thank you. You're the reason we're here. You're the reason that we get to sing songs that it's your breath in our lungs. For from you are all things and to you are all things. So tonight, we've lifted our worship like an incense into your name. And we say tonight, you are the worthy king of kings. And we remind ourselves that you rose from the grave. And now we stand seated at the right hand of the Father because you imputed us with your righteousness and you made a way for us to boldly approach your throne of grace. So we celebrate you tonight and we lift up a shout because you're worthy, Jesus.
pray for us. Let me pray. Jesus, thank you for tonight. Thank you for your goodness, your love, your mercy. We don't just say your love, your grace, your mercy all the time, Jesus. We need all of those things. And uh, you gave that to us and more tonight. And so we are so appreciative of you. Thank you for the communion that we got to take. Thank you for the prayers that we got to pray. Thank you, Jesus, that there's a very true reality is that when your people praise and when they sing, uh, you join them. And uh, we're really grateful that you're here tonight with us. <sighs> yeah, Jesus, we love you. Holy Spirit, we love you, Father. We love you. And we are so thankful that we do not sing to the sky, but we sing to a Savior. We, th we sing to a God who is enthroned upon the highest of thrones. The God who spoke the universe into existence, who holds galaxies in his hands. And yet, even in your magnificent, infinite, omnipresence, omni-everythingness, you hear our words, you see our hearts, you know us by name, you know the very hairs that are on our head, and when we sing, that gets you excited. And uh, that's really good, Jesus, so thank you for that. 
We pray these things in your magnificent name. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. Awesome. Thanks for coming, guys. We're so glad that you came to worship with us. We got a little, went a little long. We are a little rowdy, too. I am so sweaty, my knee pits are sweaty. Does anybody have knee pit sweats in the house? I don't know. Maybe that means the Lord's doing something. So anyways, hey, so we're done for tonight. You guys are more than welcome to hang out. Uh, we wanted to give you a chance to be able to worship with us. And uh, if you're new to Lighthouse, make sure you meet someone around you, get to know them a little bit. The Lighthouse folk are good people. We're a good family, and we'd love for you guys to hang out with us. So if you're new, get connected with us, introduce yourself to someone around the room. Uh, the next one coming up, when's the next one, guys? June 14th. Megan uh, Bud. Where's our boss? Where's the lady who tells us what's up? Third Wednesday of June, we're doing this again, and uh, that might be at Lakewood, that might be at Denver, we'll let you guys know. The room's pretty packed, so we'll see if we can fill it with uh, Lakewood people as well. So that's it, guys. We love you. We'll see you guys next uh, next uh, Wednesday, you know, the next Wednesday in the worship night. We'll see you this Sunday. This Sunday, we're talking about a spirit-filled marriage. Woo! That's going to be a fun one. Ephesians chapter 5. So if you guys want to come back on Sunday, that'd be awesome. Other than that, have a good night. God bless. Enjoy the beautiful weather. And uh, that's it. See you guys. Thank you. Love you.